In this video, we're going to talk about ways to measure anesthesia, or the primary way to measure anesthesia. So how do we measure anesthesia? How do you know if a patient is adequately anesthetized? How do you know how much to give, how much volatile agent, all of that stuff? So the main focus of this video is to talk about the primary or most common way that we measure anesthesia when we deliver our volatile agents or our gases. And that is through measuring the minimum alveolar concentration. Minimum alveolar concentration. Otherwise known as MAC. So the minimum alveolar concentration has somewhat of an obscure de definition when you first try to understand it. But we'll, we'll break it down. We'll try to simplify it um, with an example after we talk about the definition. So essentially what the minimum alveolar concentration is, it is the partial pressure. of a gas, or of an anesthetic gas, I'll say, at which 50% of humans do not, do not respond to a surgical stimulus. And that stimulus can involve and in, can include an incision, surgical incision. So when first looking at this definition, this is a very long worded definition. It is confusing. The partial pressure, the minimum alveolar concentration is the partial pressure of an anesthetic gas at which 50% of patients of humans do not respond to a surgical stimulus. So let's, let's provide a little bit more of a pictorial example of, uh, of how we can understand what exactly the minimum alveolar concentration is just a little bit better. And this is gonna be a very, um, uh, very abstract example here. So let's say we take a certain population, and let's say this population includes four patients. So one, two, three, and four. So there are four patients. Each of them are undergoing the same surgery with the same surgical incision. And let's say that none of them are anesthetized. So they're all awake for this procedure. So you have this stimulus, or incision, incision. So incision, same incisions on each patient. Well, if the patient is not anesthetized, they're gonna feel that incision, and they're not gonna like that incision. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna, that incision or stimulus is gonna elicit a response. If that incision is in the hand, they're going to pull their hand back, or they're going to scream, or they're going to move. There's going to be some sort of response carried out in a patient who is not fully anesthetized. Now, let's say that you do end up, let's say you put all these patients in this abstract orange square here. And this orange square is kind of sealed from the outside world. And this orange seal has a pressure gauge that allows us to detect the partial pressure of an anesthetic gas. Let's say that's zero, and then it goes to, you know, whatever, let's say 100 just an abstract partial pressure. 
So you fill this, this square here with volatile agent. And let's say this is your volatile agent. So your anesthetic gas is filling this orange square here filled with these patients. And now these patients are breathing in that volatile anesthetic and they're exhaling some volatile anesthetic as well. And we're able to measure how much they're exhaling. And that gives us a representative of how much anesthetic gas there is in the alveoli. So partial pressure of anesthetic gas in alveoli. So if you give, you fill this, this square up with anesthetic gas, and these patients are exhaling a partial pressure of anesthetic gas at, let's say, right over here. Eventually, if you give enough anesthetic gas, you'll have, let's say, this patient will stop responding to the surgical stimulus. So they'll fall asleep. But let's say, you know, that, that doesn't mean that this patient won't respond. If you give more of an anesthetic gas, so let's say we're moving this dial down a little bit more, then you'll get another patient that ends up not responding to the surgical stimulus. I'll do it in black here. So after giving a an anesthetic agent at which the partial pressure of their gas in the alveoli is this abstract number right over here, you have two out of four of your patients, whoops, two out of four of your patients do not respond to surgical incision. That concentration right over here is the MAC, the minimum alveolar concentration required, or the minimum alveolar concentration at which 50% of the population do not respond to a surgical stimuli or stimulus, such as an incision. It's a complicated definition, but hopefully this example helps a little bit. If you don't give any anesthetic, you're going to get a response to stimulation in all of your patients. If you administer the right amount of anesthetic, 50% of those patients will not respond to a surgical stimulus, and that is the minimum alveolar concentration. And that is one of the ways that we can measure depth of anesthesia.